How's it going, Short Kings? Back with the Dwarves, this time playing against Rice. But before we get into this, we've got a little bit of housekeeping to take care of. Seems like the game against Michigan will may be a little bit too easy. So, uh, because our team is kind of speed-oriented, we've increased the speed threshold to uh, maybe even us out with some other teams. And we've altered the sliders as well. Uh, makes us a little bit worse. And overall, the CPU just a little bit better. So hopefully these games are difficult for us. We've got a little bit of recruiting that we can do. If we take a look at our top players, the two middle linebackers that we oh so desperately want uh, are still looking like they might be coming to North Main State. We're going to find uh, a near gem, it looks like, with the Juco corner Rod Willis. Um, hopefully we can pick him up. Five foot nine. Could be huge. The fullback spot, we're going to take all our points from Sam Clark and throw them on to Gabe Thompson. We're a little bit further behind, but he's eight overall better, so that's a pretty big difference. We'll offer some scholarships to these wide receivers. Uh, 500 points towards Corey Hawk. And we'll give that last 100 to Ron Mayo. We'll look at what Herb Street has to say. It looks like Rice is going to have the overall advantage. We are putting up more points per game, but they are getting more yards. And uh, we're, we're losing in that turnover differential battle. Minus five on the season. We need some some picks, maybe a couple fumbles. And this Rice school has not, uh, not had the easiest time. They lost to our Gorge University. That's funny. Um... A 2-1 Kansas and a number 7 Houston, and that game was not close. And they do have the 3 overall difference thanks to that defense. We're going to go ahead and wear the white pants today. Rice has some decent players. Uh, that middle linebacker is sure to cause some problems for us. Uh, but they also have a couple of small little injuries, so maybe uh, hurts their depth a little bit and we can sneak through with a win. Not the most staunch defenses being shown two sacks for us on this season one for them no picks for either d apparently i thought we had two maybe i'm mistaken and this will be a a tough one with the the new sliders got to adjust to that and hopefully we're able to come out on top this probably one of the easiest games for us to uh make that adjustment on the sliders just because it's an 0-3 rice team we're at the mine today and kind of hoping we win the toss. I just want to see uh, our offense get out on the field. So if we win, we won't. But they're going to uh, elect to kick it. It's good news for us. The kick return down the middle. Gene Nunez. N sorry, Nunez. I did go back and while we were editing the last episode, I listened to the uh, the stadium PA announcer. Because we just get a medium return. Listen to the... Uh, the PA announcer, and he did pronounce it Nunez, so there's just a hidden tilde there. So hopefully I can correct myself into saying that properly. We're just going to start with a nice run up the middle to Talib Noel on first down. Let him cut outside, and it definitely feels a little bit slower, but we're still going to have, I think, the edge against a lot of these USA teams when it comes to our speed. Quick slants on second and three. We've got Norton. That's a nice catch. Holds onto it through the contact. See if we can find somebody to take a shot downfield here on this second first down. And why not? Oh, it is worth throwing. Never mind. <laughs> well, we'll put it back on the ground. Get some positive second down yardage. And that's some good blocking to leave Noel's able to get six. We also did change our auto subs a little bit. So hopefully I did it correctly and we'll see a little bit more of Irby uh, at that running back spot. But there's no guarantees. Third and four, we're going with a quick little slant. We might get out of the pocket here, and we will. Richie Kirk going to be able to slide after picking up the first down, no problem. Good little downfield block there. I'm going to be looking for a lot of shots downfield this game, so first and ten, it's going to be four verts. And I don't know if we get the run. Donnie Schaefer, oh, he had the, the half step on his man, but the ball's a little overthrown. Short pass on second and two. We got, well, we had Noel open, but Richie just missed him. We're lucky that's not picked off. Well, third and ten, we're going to put it on the ground and probably go for this on fourth if Noel can't. Never mind. 
got slapped in the backfield, so uh, this might be a arm punt that we see here. Fourth and eleven from the forty-six. We'll just uh, we'll just put this one hopefully out of bounds inside the ten. No guarantees on this. Never great with punting. That's decent. We just need a good bounce. Oh, okay. We'll take it. This uh, Rice team's coming out immediately in the five wide. So we can expect passes. And he throws the out route out of bounds. Let's man up here a little bit. So they have completely changed their uh, formation. Second and ten. And that's a good stop. Derek Dillard. What a name. Or maybe it <laughs> might be Derek. Third and nine. And they've completed the pass and they're breaking a couple tackles to get across the 25. Who would have thought that a, a team under my control would give up a third and long? First and ten. And they go with the out route and just miss. Both quarterbacks are just missing easy passes right now, so be interesting to see who's able to uh, correct that first as we'll give up an 11-yard carry. First and 10. That'll be a uh, read option. The quarterback keeps it, and I'm just now realizing I haven't made the adjustments I like to make. First and 10 again, and I took a terrible angle. And just another big run for him, 13 more yards. We're going to bring pressure here with the safety blitz. It's an option. We should be able to string this out, no problem. They're going to lose two yards. Alrighty, on second and 12 now. They're going to stay on the ground or are they going to throw it into the air? Looks like it'll be a pass. Quarterback's actually going to scramble. Can Caps get there? Well, he slows the QB down. We get a third down, but it's still a 10-yard scramble. Time to bring a blitz on third down. It is a handoff. Blitz call works perfectly. Oh, there's a flag though. Is this going to be an offside maybe? Wow. So we dialed up the pressure there on third and short. And it worked in our favor, but he called for the penalty. Gives him a... First and 10 with great field position now. That's going to be another option, and <laughs> we slap him again in the backfield, thankfully. Quarterback loses four yards. Second and 14. Let's see, another option. Quarterback again gets hit in the backfield. He's going to lose four more. Third and 18 now. Can we stop this third down? We expect it to be a pass. Though I wouldn't be surprised to see something weird. And on third down. Oh, I got beat on the out rep, but the quarterback can just threw that in between two guys. So this QB is not very good. Actually, no, it's a backup quarterback. Must have injured the starter. And there it is. A foot contusion for the starter, starting quarterback for Rice. We're going to have to settle for a field goal here. Better than us, I guess. If they can hit it. And yeah, just perfectly straight. We're going to fall down three to nothing here. All right, maybe Nunez can get us a good return. Let's see if the blocking lines up. We need Donnie Schaefer to get us a good block. And Nunez, just to make some moves. Hopefully there's no penalties called on this one. Gene, one man to beat. Oh my gosh, there's the flag. It's another kick return coming back due to a clipping. We should still have good field position though. Still good field position since we're at uh, the 36, but I would have much rather had the touchdown. Running it on first down, Tlaib Noel. Just gonna get north as much as possible. It's a solid five yards. Now we got a second and five. Donnie's got the one-on-one. -on -one. I'm really liking him over there. And he goes with the out route. Did that get tipped at the line? Richie Kirk is now one of five passing. Well, certainly one of the Bad parts of having such a short line and quarterback. Third and five, we'll see if Talib can get it on the ground. And he did. Speed on display there. At some point, we got to have a nice uh, pass play here. They do have a safety watching Donnie Schaefer this time. And we're just going to scramble with Richie. Give him a little juke, and can we slide down? Oof, I don't like taking multiple hits like that. 
nearing the end of the first quarter. Let's take another shot downfield. No deep safeties here. If we're accurate, we'll have Norton. We have him. That's going to be a face mask at the end, too. So it was, uh, what, about 20-yard pass, and then we get an extra half the distance to the goal here. All righty, first down, last play of the first, if we can get it off at the 10-yard line. And making the pitch, Talib Noel is going to lose a yard. We'll go into the quarter break, down three. And uh, it's been an interesting start to this game. Not sure how uh, I feel about the sliders, but we're not slaughtering an 0-3 team. So, uh, you know, more difficult is going to be an accurate way to describe it. Try to get this play off because the damn cat's annoying me. Second and 11. And Talib Noel is going to get a lot of it. Good old pass off here in third and five. Try to get into the into the end zone. Uh, oh, I did. I hit the wrong button there. Ooh, we are lucky. Meant to throw that one to A. For some reason, I hit Y, and it just safely hit the ground. We'll kick the field goal. Just try to get it tied up. That's a shame. Probably could have had a touchdown on that drive. This kick return is, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> we did a decent job covering it. They did a decent job returning. Probably should have taken a touchback. And now our defense will have a chance to maybe play some defense. First and 10, it's gonna be a draw and Ferris will be there to well, just dive under his legs, but do nothing. <laughs> Derek Dillard, I'm assuming it's Derek. But a good start to this game, averaging 7.2 per carry. And their, their running attack is a lot more potent than their passing attack. Although we, well, we almost blew that one up. And then he gets the stiff, or he broke the tackle and gets the stiff arm cheese. Got eight yards there. Second and two. And it's a run to the outside. Ferris can't do it. Chasing Dillard down. He's going to get another 15. This is rough. Not a whole lot going on for us right now. It'll be uh, first and 10. They will go to the air. And this should be picked off. No, Marks, what are you doing? Marks had the pick six if he just gets his hands up. Neither team able to throw the ball very effectively right now. Second and 10, I'm expecting a run. One broken tackle. Ferris pulls him down. It's only a gain of two, and we've got a third and long to try to screw up now. Don't expect this screen, but it could be an option. And quarterback is going to find a guy. Benjamin misses. It'll be Penn and Ham Hamilton having I mean, to pull Connor Sella down. It's a first and 10 now inside the 15, and they're sticking with this. Hurry up. That'll hold them to another field goal. That'll help. Second and nine. Is it going to just continue to be runs? That's what's working for them mostly. Um, it's going to be a run. Yeah, they, they just keep going to it because it's working. I'm thinking we can get there. A little linebacker fire and oh, we get picked up on the block. Bryce is going to just walk into the end zone for a touchdown. We are now down. Assuming 10-3. They should hit this. Down seven. Nunez, maybe he gets us a decent return. He's fielding it across the five, and oh, well, we're past the 30, but he got slapped on that one. All right, go into the air on first and 10. And so we're going to get hit as we're throwing. We had Khalif James, and or no, it might have been Dane Upshaw headed north, but we just are lucky that that one hits the turf. We're going to continue to. Run with it and see if we can get the kinks worked out. There's Talib Noel. Third completed pass, I think, sets us up with a third and three. All right, on third down, can we get it? Noel, he's going to follow his blocker and just <laughs> oh, eventually get his way across the first. Three minutes left in the half. I'd like to take the lead. Just not sure if it'll happen. Ooh, and I tried to cut it back more inside, but we'll get hit for a loss to try a little bit of the hurry up. It's been working for Rice. Hopefully it can work for us as well. Oh no. We caught a break there. Should have been picked off. 
on third and 11. Trying the deep ball here. Got to watch the safeties. We're going to heave it up for Donnie Schaefer. And Donnie oh, couldn't come down with it. I don't know if that was in his hands or the defenders. That was a close ball. Brings up a fourth and 11. We're going to have to punt. See if we can maybe get this out of bounds. A decent spot. We need a good bounce here. Oh, baby. Inside the 10. He's just going to watch it. And we're going to down it at the 6 to the 7-yard line. All right. The Mayans getting a little loud here. The question is, can we come up with a defensive stop? In fact, I'm going to blitz here on first down. They've been going to the run so much. Oh. Oh, I don't know if that was the running back making the decision to get outside the tackles. But we would have had him stuffed if they were going up the middle. And on that first down, they're going to pick up nine to Cole Hunt. A nice little reception. I'm going to bring pressure here. Actually, you know what? We're inside the uh, two-minute mark. Just uh, play it safe. And it works out. Three yard loss. Third and five. This is our chance to get the ball back and tie it up before the half. Third and five. A play action would kill me. They are going to go out to pass. And it's kind of a screen and weird animation there. Lawrence is going to knock Dillard down. Force the fourth and seven. And we'll take our first time out. Nunez could have a chance at a really good return here. Just spring a couple of blocks, and no, uh, that was that was my fault. Well, a minute and 24 on the clock. We'll try to at least get into field goal range here. Going outside the pocket. Oh, that's a risky throw, but Norton is going to come down with it. We just kind of gapped the defenders there. First and ten now. Kind of liking Norton on this one again. Although Donnie Schaefer could be our guy. Some pressure coming. Norton is wide open. Can we get him in the end zone? Beautiful. Too beautiful. Two plays, 61 yards. And Norton getting both of them. We're going to tie this game up. We didn't take a whole lot off the clock, so maybe we can score again here. That's SMU still up big over the number five TCU. Jolly with the kick here. And that'll be returnable. Question is, can we make it a bad return? And that'll work out for us. Inside the 25 with a minute and six to play. Go back to this man coverage real quick. Though a lot of guys are not guarding who they should be. This one should have been picked off. They'll hit Nate German. I think that might have been bad user on my part. He was stride for stride with him most of the way, but just couldn't get it done. They're across midfield now. And, oh, I knew that route was coming. I just didn't quite react in time. So they'll get nine yards. This quarterback is six and nine <laughs> passing. Second and one. We know it should go to the air. The question is, can we defend it properly? And quarterback's going to take off and stumble. He got technically sacked there after just kind of running into the line. 53 seconds, third and three. They've got one timeout, and they're going to the air with this one. It's a big play for us. Quarterback kind of faked running for it, and now he will take off. Can I get there with caps? Beautiful. We actually brought him down. Let's take a timeout. They're going to elect a punt. So maybe if we're lucky, this will be returnable, but I'm going to expect it to be a touchback. And I kind of want Nunes to take it, but we'll just take the free 20 yards. First and 10 from the 20. We got 41 seconds. And one timeout to try and get points on the board here. This is a risky one. Should have been intercepted. Not great passing today, that's for sure. Although we're looking for Norton again. Maybe, maybe Khalif James. Depends on what the safety is doing, and this is another risky one, but we fit it into Norton again. Let's go into the hurry-up. That's a good 25 yards. We're near midfield. I believe this is the play we went to to score with Norton, so it depends on what this safety does. Um, we're going to get outside the pocket. That guy's going to miss. We're going to heave it. Why not? <gasps> what are you doing, Norton? Oh, we got lucky again. Norton stopped running for it. 
Safety made a great play on the ball. Just couldn't come down with it, but I just saw Norton stop running. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fly here. Corner strike on this second down. Man, that should be pass interference. Donnie Schaefer got held up. Third and 10 now. We gotta have something come up for us. I'm gonna keep Noel as an extra blocker. And let's see, surveying the field. This is a risky, oh. This is a risky one, but I think we had uh, Donnie Schaefer open. Whoever our A was would have been open near the line. Uh, 14 seconds, we're gonna go for this. This is a little risky. I know this, but we're gonna go with a slip screen. Hopefully just pick up the first. And you know what? Screw the screen part of this slip screen. We'll just give it to Dane Upshaw, get that first down. We got a, a shot or two here that we can take. One timeout left. Nine seconds. James has a step on his man. Khalif James, you gotta dive for that. Oh no. We missed him. Now there's four seconds left and we just gotta try to throw one up. Get this snap off. The play action. Flanagan. It's gonna be, well, knocked out of his hands. Go to the half tied up here against Rice. Slider just definitely doing a good job and oh just the the accuracy of Richie Kirk is seriously hurting us. Well all in all a disappointing first half for me I'd say. We had the opportunities to be up big here. We just uh, couldn't make the big plays that we needed. Defense has to come out early in this half. Well, that's a decent stop on the return. The man defense has been working pretty well so far, although I'm actually expecting a run right now. I'm going to use her the safety. Yeah, that's going to be a run if I've ever seen one. And only giving up two yards is fine with me. Normally, I would want them to start going to the air so we can have a chance in an interception. But if they want to put it on the ground and just let me get tackles, that's fine. It also doesn't help that we have some seriously short defensive backs. And... Oh, we just caught a break. Oh, man, they dropped the pass and it bounces off our safety's head. Let's see if we can get this punt. Fourth and eight. And we just need some blocks to spring for Nunez. And we don't get a single one. Everybody just shedding them off like it's nothing. And that'll bring us to this first down. We do have good field position, though. Who knows, maybe we can find Norton here. Those, uh, those routes have been working well for us. Depends on what the safety does. He's open, but we're just going to get hit as we're throwing. 7 of 22 passing. That's despicable. Time to run the football a little bit more. Good little cut from Noel. And on third down, we'll try to be safe. With an easy pass here, hopefully. This is not as easy as I was hoping, but Dane Upshaw comes down with it. Oh, that was, that was risky. Can't be too upset with a pass if it works out in my favor, though. Give this to Noel towards the outside. See if we can get some blocks. And let's just keep running this out. Oh, Noel doesn't quite have the speed to get to the edge there. Decent carry up the middle. Gets us a new first down. We're going to try to boost our completion percentage with a screen here. Actually, they're reacting to it all too well. Let's just scramble. Such an unorthodox screen. We get Norton. There's a touchdown. He might have stepped out of bounds. I think this is a legal touching. Or pass interference on the offense. It's on our center. No. What? All right. Let's follow the center through this play. And see where he's going to get called for pass interference. Uh, fair enough. I guess he's caught up blocking when we're passing. Actually, you know what? The thing is, the pass comes out. He stops blocking right there. The pass is thrown then. Did we get jogged by the refs again? Well, we've got a much more difficult first and 20 now. Taking away our touchdowns. I'm looking for Norton big time. Although I do like that that safety's kind of shied over. Maybe it gives Donnie Schaefer a chance. Let's put him on the go instead of that late turnaround. 
And oh, I don't like any of it. I don't like any of it. Let's just scramble and it's Chip Breedluffin apparently. So that doesn't help. I didn't notice that uh, Richie Kirk was out, so Chip Breedlove's gonna have to throw a couple passes. We know he's a decent passer, though. Just certainly hurts my scrambling abilities. And Dane Upshaw is gonna get. Well, he's gonna get hit, but he'll drop the pass, so third and 22 now. And let's get Richie back into this one. This is a big third down. Don't wanna settle for the field goal if we don't have to. The question is who are we gonna find? Kinda liking Norton on this one. It's kind of typically my preferred route, and no, we'll just almost throw another pick. Goodness, the, the passing has been awful for me today. Well, as far as I'm concerned, we might be out of range for our kicker. So, we're going to go for this here. See if somebody can't get open. Where the safety's going. This is a risky pass. Schaefer. Oh, it was almost an arm punt, but we'll just get the turnover on downs. We are so lucky that these guys can't catch. It's a defensive struggle here. Mine. And they're just going to keep running the ground. Wow. They're going to keep running it on the ground. But as I was saying that I got hit with a pancake. It's no good. Bring pressure on second and one. Get the safeties involved a little bit. Try to stop Dillard from running all over us. And oh, we had good pressure at the line. But we'll get the forward progress for the first down. Dillard's still averaging over six yards per carry right now. Ferris, oh, we're going to go to him again. Thankfully, Caps is there. They didn't show up, but they did have a player injured. I'm wondering maybe if it was Dillard. Second and 12. And they're going to keep going like with these pseudo draws, the mid draws, I think is what they're running. And that's a screen. I'm not going to be there in time, but can Caps get the tackle? Yeah, whoa really knocked him down. Look at this. Caps just comes in and got him onto the ground immediately. Fourth and 15 now. They just went backwards a few times there. Maybe we'll finally get a chance at a decent punt return. There's been decent blocking on the Gunners, but not good enough. This is the best attempt so far and Nunez he's got the corner. He's got the punter to beat. He got a block. Oh, that was my bad. There's a flag down anyways. It's probably going to be a clipping. But I screwed that one up. Oh, a face pass. Pleasant surprise. Well, at least we got a free 15 yards out of it. But I should have been able to take that to the house. Real short field position for this offense. I would like to get points on the board. Even if we have to settle for a field goal. Try a few more runs up the middle on this drive. Look at how empty the box is. Safety's really playing out towards those wideouts. And I believe Noeb's going to make a pay. Gets into the end zone, almost untouched. We're gonna have a touchdown lead now, near the end of the third. Dillard is out for the game, that might help us. He's got a mild concussion, I guess from that weird hit that uh, Caps gave to him on the screen. And maybe now our defense can come to life, not having to deal with the, the crazed man that is Dillard. Third quarter is starting to come to a close. They're going to continue to be running these draws, and it's really just not working out all that well for them, I feel like. But you know how these teams are. Stubborn. It's Texas football. <laughs> uh, we'll force the third one. That was a good little out route for six yards. We're bringing pressure on third down. Just they, they've run in this situation all game long. This will be another carry. And wow, I think that was Caps just stood him up at the line of scrimmage. Forces the fourth and one. And we're going to go into the fourth quarter. About to get the ball. Up seven as well. Huge chance for us here. Fourth and one. Let's see. Nunez had a decent return last time that I screwed up. Can he get under that one and field it? No, Nunez. What are you doing, my guy? He's a fool. We're going to just continue to go back on this one. Maybe we get lucky. Reverse the field here. No penalties, please, guys. We're doing everything that we can with Nunez. He's across the 50. <laughs> it turns into a 51-yard punt return. Oh, that was yakety sacks if I've ever seen it. We're going to have great field position. And, you know, let's audible. Let's run on the football a little bit here. Burn a little clock. It was a very, very long punt return. 
Noel probably ran for uh, 100 yards on it. And he's going to get 16 there. I don't know how he's not dead tired. I also just realized that I just said that Noel had the return and that he would be tired. It was Nunez that ran, not Noel. I'm an idiot. Richie Kirk's going to keep it on this option and slide down for a safe seven yards. It's almost that time to go to the conservative tempo. Might have to get one more score here. Looking at Norton. Play action. The pressure's coming. We do have Norton, though. He's inside the 10. Knight freezes a guy with the move, and he scored. Oh, tackled. I thought he was going to be a little bit short, but they're giving him the touchdown. Oh, just barely crosses over the goal line. And we're going to go up 14 here. Well, if the defense can get us another stop, that might be game over. 24 to 10 here in the fourth quarter. And uh, I think we're going to start seeing... Ooh, good return here. Start seeing a few more passes. Surely we'll see a little bit of panic here. I would love an interception, but I don't expect it. And they're going to just keep running it. It's a good handoff that time, but the clock will be moving. And that's only beneficial to us. Let's bring that pressure. Second and one. We've been running in this situation all day going to be another carry they go to the outside this time can we string them out we do force the third down and they actually lost a little bit of yardage there so it'll be third and two and you know why not bring the pressure again on third down quarterback i don't know if he meant to hand that off or not but he's going to get hit before he can get rid of the football it's fourth and six i don't know if that was a broken option or what rice is going to be forced to punt here well, I guess they could fake it, but yeah, they will just kick it away. And who knows? We might have a chance to end the game here. Nunez, can he just get to the corner a couple more times? He's having a great day on the returns. 27 more there. We're going to go to the conservative tempo. Just start to run this ball game out. Shouldn't be a problem. Only thing is if we score. I'll be curious to see if... Rice decides to take their timeouts here. A couple plays. Talib Noel. Oh, again, shifty back, getting nine more on the ground. We can get Noel three yards here. It'll be over 100 for the game. And there it is. Picked up four. Two minutes ago, we're knocking on the red zone's door. Noel cut that north. And that's uh, first and 10 from the 11, and Rice will take their timeouts. One more first down and this game's over. Or a touchdown. If we play this perfectly, we could get that first and goal right there at the one-inch line. Or we could maybe just get in Noel. Oh, I accidentally ran out of bounds. <laughs> Didn't expect him to break the tackle. Second and inches from the one. And because we went out of bounds, they're able to save a timeout. So we'll just maybe have to punch this one in. And yeah, that's no problem. Kick this extra point. And now maybe just an, one more stop from the defense. I'd like the, the score to be pretty big. Up 21 right now. I don't want to give up a touchdown if we don't have to. Just a decent return again. Now I'm curious. We did change the sliders, but was it enough? This is a team that we should beat almost every time. Um, but I'd still like to know if maybe there's something else that we could have done. Is Hamilton. Oh. Almost got there for the pick. They catch it, but it's out of bounds. We're going to have to play just a, a real good opponent to figure out. We need to alter our sliders a little bit more. And we've got them. You know, they get the first down. Dang it. <laughs> this isn't necessarily supposed to be an easy dynasty, so I'm not against changing things and making them harder and harder on myself. That was my zone that I gave up. They're near midfield. I admire the fight from these guys. But a minute and 20, I don't think that they're going to quite do what they set out for. That was a nice pass, though. Put some 12 more yards and out of bounds. New first down. Across the 40. And is this quarterback just going to take off eventually? Lester? Eh, good coverage. They'll throw that one away. Maybe a chance that the taller wide receiver there is able to go up and get that pass, but thankfully he kind of stopped. Gave up on the play. Maybe he didn't expect the ball to be thrown his way. And he 
keep moving the ball. We can't seem to stop them through the air. I'm telling you, if they would have they would have been passing earlier, we might be in trouble. We were just a little bit too married to the run and their uh, their game plan, and we were able to adjust and screw with them just enough. Caps, good tackle there. They're gonna take their second time out. Feel kind of bad for this uh, this Rice team, though. We did injure their quarterback and their running back. Second and five. Oh, I thought that was a screen. Can we get there, Lester? Well, he didn't have to do anything. The receiver just dropped it. He bobbled it twice and couldn't come down with the catch. Third and five. On third down. Thought it could have been a screen, but it won't be. Quarterback throwing on the run. What's going on? She, he just dropped it. Well, fourth and five. We got lucky. See if we can get lucky again. Just going to defend the end zone. And that's on me, but just another drop pass. These guys have no hands. We'll be allowed to just kneel it a couple times here. 41 seconds on the clock. And Rice is probably going to take their last time out. No, they don't even care. Waving the white flag. We're going to get a 21-point victory here in the mine. The Dwarfs are going to somehow improve to a 3-1. We need more competition, or maybe we need to handicap ourselves a little bit more. A lot of XP for Huck Disco means we're getting close to that first level up. And it might come, it's, we're, we're inching closer as this uh, post game progresses. I think we are going to be level two here. Look at that, five XP away. Oh, we're going to have to schedule a visit or find a gem or a bust or something if it, if it doesn't give it to us through the, uh, the week. Richie Kirk had an awful day passing, 34%, uh, no picks, because they dropped about 10 of them, and two touchdowns, but just uh, just awful. Noel did a pretty solid job running, averaging 5.6, he 126, another two touchdowns, no problems with that. Through the air, it was pretty much all A.J. Norton, he had the, the two re touchdown receptions, he had the 35-yard the bomb, and uh, just looking solid overall. On defense, the one play that really matters, you know, statistically, is uh, Brent Capps' one sack that he had. Uh, he did have five tackles for loss, too, so Capps definitely defensive player of the game. You know, as a team, we gave up more first downs, uh, but got the advantage in yardage. Uh, we rushed for more than them. We threw for more than them. That'll win. Uh, better on third downs. Better on fourth downs, and uh, actually worse in the red zone, believe it or not. No turnovers, thankfully, and a lot of punt return yards. Uh, and we'll barely win the time possession battle, but I don't think it really mattered a whole lot in this game. Couple of upsets around the country this week. Goodness, uh, the Pac-12 is surprisingly highly ranked, but number 17, Oregon's gonna lose. Number six, Washington's gonna lose. Uh, Bama technically upsets Ole Miss, although they're only two, two ranks away from each other. And we saw that number five, uh, TCU lost as well. Our players of the game are A.J. Norton with his uh, six receptions, two of them going for touchdowns, including that nice long bomb. Of course, Brent Capps, pretty much the only person on defense to be making big plays. We've got a lot of recruits ready to visit this upcoming week. That'll be big. Curious, did we get any extra XP to level up as we move into our first rivalry week here against Western Arizona? Uh, dwarves versus Giraffes, a battle of the height, and we are going to do everything in our power to get that level up for Coach Disco, but that's going to have to wait until next episode. As a little sneak peek, the Giraffes are also 3-1 and one at 2-0 and oh in conference. But Kirk Herbstreet is going to be predicting Richie Kirk and the rest of the Dwarves to come out ahead. Even though we only lead in two categories, total defense and rush defense, the Giraffes just overall the better team. But we get them at home at the mine. So hopefully we're able to knock off the Goliathan type players that they have and come out 4-1. It'll be an interesting one. That's going to have to wait. If you don't want to wait to watch some more NCAA football, go check us out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 69 where we actually have been playing as this Western Arizona Giraffes team. 
everybody's six foot seven or taller. It's interesting to say the least, and we are uh, we're struggling, but then also doing well. It's very bipolar, but I hope that we see you there. Uh, subscribe if you want to, you know, get some notifications on when new giraffes episode. Sorry, when new dwarfs ca episodes come on live. If you have anything that you think maybe should be changed, or if you have any just interesting observations about that game, let us know in the comments. But otherwise, that's going to do it for us. Um, thanks for stopping by, and hopefully we, we see you either back here on YouTube or over on Twitch. I'm Poodmaster, you guys are the dwarves. We'll see you later. Adios. <laughs>